Success is not an event. It is largely due to our ability to face our fear, believe in ourselves, take risks and take advantage of every opportunity that life presents to us, knowing that no great achievement was attained by being idle. We are honored to have our guest, Mr. and Mrs. Uncle, the owners and CEOs of Konyan Farms. I think it all started when we were, we were all working. I was with the bank, commercial bank, and he was with um, SEFS. Military. Yeah. Military then came to SEFS. Mm -hmm. uh, a friend of his and a, a Greek officer encouraged him to, to get a land here. And he led us to, to acquire this place, that when the owner of this place was quite older and she was giving it up. So he took it. That was in 1999. And then 2001, we came in to do pineapple, pineapple and vegetables. It has been very, very creative since we came. We came and uh, we started some vegetables at the, at the water side. There's a river running through down here. And, uh, it, we did well, and then later, you are, somebody advised us to go into animals. That's how the, the piggy came in. No. So we went, prepared the place, went around, looked for the young ones, and then came and started the piggy. And it's been very, very lucrative. Well, apart from the piggy, we have the coconut. I, I said we started with the the vegetables, now we don't do vegetables again because of marketing problems. I went around for advice, I went to the Ministry of Agric to find out what we can do because the land is there, we paid for it and it has to be used. So when they, they advised us to, to go into pineapple, actually he put so many things before us and we came up choosing the coconut. We do a seasonal cropping like cassava, plantain, um, maize. We were usually doing yearly, seasonal, broiler, cockras, something. But this year we decided to go into eggs, to produce eggs too. So this year, since May, we took the chicks in May, and this is how far we've gotten to, by God's grace, <laughs> with the mm -hmm. eggs production. Well, the main challenge here is labor. The young ones frown on this kind of work. It's dirty, it's, they think it's more time consuming. Actually, to put in in a very simple language, we are lazy. Yes, they, we are lazy. our youth coming now are very lazy. They don't want hard work. They don't want to do any hard work. So it's difficult getting them back. Farming is good. It's, it's a very good venture. It needs you, as the investor, to be present. present. You just don't put your money into the bush and then sit somewhere and think it will grow for you, no. If you don't have the time, I would advise that you put your money with investment. investment. <laughs> that will be best for you. But if you have the time, I believe that's the best thing. Mm. It's necessary to save, very necessary. Mm. Not necessarily a rainy day, but it is very necessary to save. Whatever you get out of whatever you are doing. Like somebody rightly said, what you earn is not your pay. What you earn is what has come into your hand for you as the earner to manage it. You have to pay yourself after taking your, your tithes and your whatever, you have to pay yourself. So after that, then what you have paid yourself from what you have earned, that is what belongs to you. So you don't have to eat everything. You take what you earn at a seed. When you eat your seed, you don't have crops. So you don't eat everything. What you earn is like a seed that has come into your hands. So you take your seed, take part of the seed and plant it so that it can also germinate and grow, so you can harvest it. 
This episode, as mentioned, is a special dedication to all farmers. Just like in farming, what you sow is what you reap. So I ask you, have you considered sowing a seed for your future? What seed type are you sowing and why? Where are you sowing the seeds and what fruits do you expect the seeds to bear for you?